once burial, I gave myself up to a stranger. I have nothing to repay. I can only repay with myself. <laughs> Just a little more. Push harder. Come on, the baby's head is out. Uh, 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 there are two pet boys. Miss Melinda, you're awesome. Push harder. Keep pushing. There's another baby. How many babies are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh God, Miss Melinda! Congratulations on your thick chocolates. Mr. James Sullivan, your large parcel is already in office. All right. Betty. What did you call me? Betty. What did you call me? Betty. Betty, you are my actual father. Look, here is the paternity test. Mr. James is really the medical paternity result. Ryan didn't lie to me. My daddy is really handsome. Hey, what you doing? You can't go in. My son's in there. Why can't I go in? Matthew, why are you running away again? What's the meaning of your message to me? What do you mean we are having a family reunion? Because I found daddy. How come it's you? Mom, it's my fault. I'm late. Dad, what are you doing? Kelly missed calling from Sonia Olsen is interested in. If you stay one night with him, he will give Maria a group a hundred million. What are you talking about, Dad? How dare you talk back to me? Your mom is dead. Now it's your turn to make me money. I'm engaged to John. If you do this to me, he won't let go of you. <laughs> John, Kelly, John is the one who brought you and Miss Collins together. John is already in love with me. Ah! You, Amelia, you bitch. Stop her! Grab her now! Don't let her get away. Dad, don't worry. She's drugged. She won't go far. If this man willing to save me, I'll give my life for him. It's you. What does this mean? What do you mean by this? He mustn't know about the children's existence, or else he will take them away from me. It's just a joke my son played with you. You call this a joke? Daddy, you're right. Mommy. Paternity tests are no joke. You've got lots of guts, running away with my child for seven years. How much more are you hiding? Mommy has a lot more. No more. Definitely no more. I definitely can't keep Matthew anymore. But I can't let him know about the other children. Henry, Matthew has been there for so long. Why hasn't he come out yet? Ryan is the most intelligent kid on earth. If he says so, so it is. Let's go have a look. So they came off the road all of the sudden. I. Why are you talking about this right now? Get them in the car and take them to the hospital. Hurry up! I need to note from Go to the hospital first. Then notify him. Hurry up! These kids look like James when he was a child. The way they sleep are exactly the same. Mr. Sullivan, both of the children are awake. The doctor examined them and said everything was fine. Mr. Sullivan, they look just like you when you were a child. Old Mrs. Sullivan loves them so much. They can't be more than Matthew. Matthew is my son. Granny has been waiting for a great grandson. It's time to arrange for her to meet Matthew. Have you notified their parents? Yes, she is on her way. 
Granny. James, you are here. Come on, kids. Say hello to Uncle James. Daddy. Stephen, thank you for taking me to the hospital. I'm sorry for the trouble. Later, I'll go pick up Matthew from your place. Kelly, let me go in with you. There's no man by your side. I'm afraid you'll get in trouble. Thank you, Stephen. It's not a big deal. We're friends, right? Mommy. Kelly Morana, it's you again. Why are you here? Kelly. James, what are you doing? Mommy and Daddy are holding hands. Let go of me, James. What are you doing? Kelly, you're really something, aren't you? No, I'm not as powerful as you, Mr. Sullivan. You just told me you're not hiding anything else from me. But now there's two other children calling me their dad. How are you going to explain yourself? No, James. No, about Harry and Thomas. He can't. Harry and Ryan twins. Does that mean that I can't keep any of my children? Kelly, how many children have you taken away from me? One. Kelly. How many children have you taken away from me? One, only one. There are already two kids calling me their dad. Is there only one? Only Matthew is your son. Henry and Thomas are a year younger than Matthew. They belong to me and my husband. You're lying again. I'm not. My husband is the man came with me just now. Go check if you don't believe me. Lie to me again, and I'll kill you, Mr. Sullivan. The two children are indeed a year younger than Matthew. When Henry, Thomas, and Ryan were born, they were taken away by more nurse. I only found them a year later. That's why they were resistant a year later. I hope that's able to hold James. I didn't lie to you, Mrs. Sullivan. She has slept with me, yet she's having children with other men. Such a disgraceful woman. How much? What are you saying? I said, tell me a number. I'll buy off your relationship with Matthew. I'm taking Matthew away. Such a shameless woman like you doesn't deserve to be my child's mother. Jim Sullivan, who are you to say that? Why can't you let go of me? I'll give a second choice then. I'll give a second choice then. What's that? Marry to me and bring Matthew along. I don't mind if he slept with a man, but keep this in mind: there's never a chance for the two children to get into my house. <coughs> Is your heart made by stone? James already knew about the three children's existence. I won't be able to hide the others three much longer. We must leave Jacqueline immediately. Henry, Thomas, what are you doing out here? Go back in and think about what you've done. Matthew, what are you doing out here? Don't you and your brother sister should be having online classes by now? Don't you dare open the door. Mommy, it's Daddy. What kind of place are you living in, James? I will not give message to you. You should just give up. So you're fighting custody with me? Who are you to do so? Yes, I mean did Paul, but I raised the Matthew all by myself. Who are you to take him away from me? Just because you worked five minutes that night? Five minutes. Have you forgotten how you begged me to stop that night? Shame on you. As long as I get the child, my shame is nothing. Daddy, I don't want to leave mommy. Matthew. All right, I promise. How about this? Do you want to go to the theme park with me? Awesome. We want to go to the theme park too. James, can you bring them too? Are you begging me? Why should I? Are they my children? Let their biological father take them. Matthew, let's go. He's our biological father. But he's our biological father. 
No, he's not. Mommy, why is Daddy only nice to Matthew? Honey, let's keep your identity a secret from now on, all right? Or they will take you all away from Mommy. All right then. Mommy has to go to work now. You guys stay at home, behave yourself, okay? Okay. Bye. Mommy's off to work now. Be good, all right? Bye, Mommy. It's you. Hello, little ones. Grammy here to see you guys. Hey, who's this? Grammy, they are my brothers, Max and Shen. They have just finished their online classes. We are six triplets. Wow, six triplets. Then where's your eldest brother? Bad Daddy brought him to theme park. Isn't it just the theme park? How about I bring you guys there too? Awesome. Okay. All these kids look so much alike with James. If only they were all James' children. Matthew, mommy, we had fun in the theme park. Daddy bought me a lot of toys. Wow, that's a lot of toys. Share these toys with your brothers and sister. All right. Sure. That's my good boy. Don't I have that? Why should I give them the toys I bought for Matthew? James, Dad, what are you talking about? Why did Dad say that? You're talking too much. What's wrong with the? He、children? bought gifts for Henry and Thomas too. They're not my children. Do you know how to put it together? Actually, they are. Mr. Sullivan, old Mr. Sullivan fainted in the park. Just been sent to hospital. What? That's so rude. Matthew, let's not be like him. Where are my brothers and sisters? Why haven't I seen them? Hello. What? Why are they in the hospital? Okay, I will be right there. Matthew, I have got some work to do. I'll be back later. Stay home. Granny, you're awake. How are you feeling? Where are the kids? How are they doing? What do you mean by kids? The two kids in the accident yesterday. I took them to the theme park. Mr. Sullivan, old Mr. Sullivan fainted due to overworking. There's nothing wrong with her body. There are four children with her. They're resting in the ward next door. Four? Yes, four chubby kids. Two of them are twins. They look just like you when you were little. Granny, take a rest. Kelly, you lied to me again. Kelly, you lied to me again. Sorry, Mom. We didn't listen to you and snuck out. Mom, I was the one agreed to go out with Granny. Punish me if you want to. It's all right since you are all fine, but still, punishment must be done. Let's go home, James. Those kids look so much like you when you were little. When I look at them, it's like looking at you. When you are going to bring me four great grandsons at once, I would wake up laughing in my dreams, James. After the incident in Rose Villa, you said you would never get married for the rest of your life. Your grandpa couldn't even believe because of that. Do you remember? Is that her? What's going on with those kids? Who are you? You scared me. Where are those four kids and their mom? Your wife and the kids? They have been gone for long. What took you so long to get here? No, I'm not. You are the father of those four kids, right? They left their student cards here. Take it back. That's strange. Isn't Matthew's full name Matthew Morana? Why is it written as Shane Morana? Wow, Shane, you are awesome! You go first in the class again. Shane is the best. Just doing my thing. Ryan is the best. Shane, you must have cheated. My mom got the best tutor, but I didn't even get it right. How can you get it all right when you are not even the best? 
delivery guys are all dirty and smelly. You and Ren are like swear rats. You must have cheated. Yes. My mom is a delivery driver, but she's honest. Who are you to talk about my mom like that? Shit! How dare you push me? Do you know how much this weather and wearing costs? Your mom can't afford it. Even if she delivers for months. What's going on? Mr. Watson, Maxie hit Jackson. Jackson scolded my mom first. He even said Shen cheated, and our family are like rats. Mr. Watson, I didn't cheat. My mom's great. Shen, Mike's beat Jackson's up. He violated the school rules. You are such a terrible brother. Not only not stopping him, but helping him pick up your classmates. I will disqualify your result right now. The top student in our class is Jackson. Why, Miss Watson? Jackson is a poor student. Because Jackson is a good student, he has a good character and good grades. And Jackson's parents donated two million dollars to the school. What can your mom donate to the school? Donated a takeout that doesn't cost an errand. Sir, this is the student you're looking for, Shen Moweno. That's his twin brother, Max Moweno. They have a brother who looks exactly the same, called Matthew. He's in another class of the same grade. Shen, it's Daddy. Don't call him Daddy. He's not kind to Mommy. He wants to separate Matthew from us. We can't call him Daddy. You made it just in time, ma'am. Shen and Max. A bullying the classmates. They hate each other. We should cancel their grades and punch them with a weak link. It was me, not Shen. Why cancel Shen's grades? Ma'am, they're both too evil. How dare they contract me? Um, Max made Jackson cry. Jackson's mom donated two million dollars. If his mom finds out about this, will Shen? You have good grades, but you can't be bad in character. If you don't want to lose your grades, call your mom. Let her apologize to Jackson. She has apologized on her knees. Yes, it's a good apologize on her knees. Are you serious, ma'am? Is this school all about making students kneel for anything, sir? This is our school's matter. You are an outsider, so don't interfere. Miss Watson, call his mom to come to school. Troublesome single parents did. Shen, since mom is a driver, driver, Mr. Watson, why don't you order takeaway and have his mom bring his car? Okay, that's good. Outsider is a student's parent and outsider. Are you Shen's father? Who bullied my son? Ma'am, Shen cheated on the exam. Max wouldn't let me tell the teacher, and even hit me. Miss Reed, we've just decided to cancel Max's grades as a punishment. Is that enough? How dare your little bastards push my son? I want to name you and apologize to my son. Or else, I'll have you both to expel from school. Who are you talking about? Who are you going to expel? Who are you? I advise you to stay out of it. Otherwise, I'll fix you too. We are not the bastards. We have mommy. If you are not the bastards, then who are your fathers? You are my daddy. Yes, I'm their father. How are you going to fix it? What? You are their parents. So you are the father of these two bastards. Well, the three of you, kneel and apologize. Otherwise, I'll have my husband fix you. He's working as a high-ranking executive at the Sullivan Group. He can crush you without putting any effort. The Sullivan Group. What a coincidence! I worked there too. His suit and the shoes are not branded. It's all cheap knockoff. I bet he's just a mere worker, isn't he? You're nothing compared to my husband. 
My husband earns a meaning a year. Sir, Taurus is a great servant. Just apologize to them, or your kid may be expelled, and you will manage your job. And you will manage your job. Daddy, you can't kneel. Okay. I won't Who dares to mess with my family? Who dares to mess with my family? Charlie, you finally came. If you didn't show up, we would be beat by this jerk. You two are the ones bullying my son, huh? How dare you hit my son? You have a lot of nerves. Hey, hey, hey. Darling, darling, are you alright? You, how dare you hit my husband? Just wait, you're going to lose your job. He works at Solvent Group too. Darling, he's just a lousy worker. His wife works as a food delivery. Hey you, you'd better kneel and apologize to me right now. Otherwise, I'll kick you out of the Solvent Group. Hurry up and apologize now. So what if you grades are better than mine, Jin? You guys just a bunch of low lots. Hold up, kneel. Sir, it's best if you kneel. You have to accept your status. Why must we be rich? It's embarrassing. Sir, hurry up, just kneel. Things won't be pretty for anyone if this gets out of hand. Max, Shane, your mom taught you well. Besides, a man should have dignity and not growl. I have another saying for you. What say to Daddy? We will not attack unless we are attacked. If we are attacked, we will certainly counterattack. Ha ha ha! Counterattack? How bold of you to have such a thought. Let's see how. Hey, hey. Darling, are you okay? You low life. How dare you hit my husband? I see how it is, you bastard. You have some nerve. You ah. My hand, Adam Reed. I'll give you ten minutes to beg for forgiveness from my sons. What's going on? The dominant look in his eyes is so convincing. Is he really someone with a high status? What's your name? What is your position at the Sullivan Group? Darling, what high position could he be in? He's just a lousy worker. Look at the clothes his sons are wearing. Moreover, his wife works as a food delivery. She even brought the leftover to cow at home to eat. Their lives are worse than a beggar. They can even have much meat during lunchtime. They're just a bunch of poor people. Their children never seem to wear any clothes. They only have one set of clothes. The eldest wears it on Monday, the second child wears it on Tuesday, and the third, whoops, I shouldn't have said that. You're talking nonsense. Mommy is not like that. Daddy, although Mommy works hard alone to earn money, she treats us well. We have clothes, food, and we get to go to school. We're actually happy. I know. Adam, you despise the poor, don't you? Fire Adam and sue him according to the law, since he's using the company's reputation to deceive out there. This has severely damaged our company's image. Ha <laughs> ha honey, did you hear that? This guy said he wanted to fire me. He even said that the Sullivan Group would sue me. <laughs> Darling! Who does he think he is? President Solomon? <laughs> My daddy last name is indeed Solomon. Dad, are you President Solomon? Your last name is Moena, but your father is Solomon? <laughs> this is hilarious. Yes, I'm Mr. Solomon. That's enough, Shane's father. Is this how you set an example for your children? If you are Mr. Solomon, then I'm Mrs. Solomon. <laughs> I think her told him to treat it well. It was really Mrs. Walter Watson in the series. Mrs. Watson. Get principal. Brad, didn't you say you wanted someone to fire me? The call has been made and your show is over. <laughs> but why hasn't anyone come and fire me yet? Look, it's the GM of the Solomon Group. With just a finger, he can crush all of you people. Only such people deserve my respect. Mr. Moore? Hey, what? Darling, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Mr. So Sullivan, it's all my fault for not recognizing you. I beg you, please, forgive me. Please don't fire me. Darling, what are you doing? He's just a lousy worker. He's not. 
Shut up. Mr. Sullivan, I'm sorry. My ignorant wife needs discipline. I'll teach her some manners. Come here, you troublemaker. You hate to study, not to bully your classmates. Kneel and apologize to them. Adam, what are you doing? You are scaring him. Can you bread endure this bit of hardship? Mr. Moore just called and told me I've been fired and sued by the company for three hundred million dollars in reputational damages. What? Three hundred million? Even if we sell everything we have, we don't have that much money. Yeah. Mrs. Sullivan, Mrs. Sullivan, I'm so sorry. I was blind and didn't recognize you. I beg you, please don't sue us. My son needs to survive and go to school. I want to leave. I want to go to school. Shannon, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have accused you of cheating. Maggie, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have called you a rat. Daddy, do you want to let Jackson's family deliver takeout? My mom delivers takeout, and it can support our whole family. I'm sure they can do it too. Mommy says every professor deserves respect. They must learn to respect others. Did you hear what my son said? Get lost. Yes, we will, Mr. Sullivan. I'll deliver takeout right away. I'll do it well. Sir, you really are. Principal, that's him. He's causing trouble. Quick, call the security and drag them out. He needs to learn from it. These two kids have very bad temper. They should stop coming to school and doing the mother in delivering his help. Mr. Russell, why did you hit me? He's the one who. Shush. I'm sorry, Mr. Sullivan. I was late. Are you out of your mind, Mr. Russell? He's just a lousy worker. He can't possibly do Mr. Sullivan. Don't let him fool you. Mrs. Sullivan, it's our mistake to employ such a teacher. I'll resign for this mistake. I hope this won't ruin your mood. Let's go. It's really humiliation to education that this kind of people could stand on the teaching podium. Mr. Sullivan, I shall make an announcement to ban her from entering educational field forever. Daddy, you look like us. Are you really our daddy? Ryan is the one who looks like daddy the most. Shane, Max, I'm sorry for the things you guys have gone through. I promise you that from now on, no one will ever bully you again. Daddy, you're so nice. Will you take us away from mommy? If you're going to take us away, I won't go with you. Don't worry. I won't take you guys away from her. Kelly really has given too much to raise these children. Go on now. Mr. Sullivan, here are the study materials. They leave school at eleven thirty p.m. Shall we wait for them? Kelly really has given too much for these kids. Let go of me, James! Help me, James! Hello, Miss Hills. The twenty cups of drinks you ordered have arrived. Could you please come and get them? Oh, isn't this honorable, Miss Moena? Honorable, Miss Moena. She has been kicked out of the family. The daughter of the Moenas is now Amelia Kelly. Are you exhausted? Here, have a cup of drink you delivered. You are not going to drink. This is what you get for refusing me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kelly! You look gorgeous. Yes, Kelly. This is the present my mother specifically asked me to give you. We'd like to thank your mother for helping our family when we are in need of help. Kelly, is the necklace you are wearing the one and only Heart of Love necklace in the world? It's so beautiful. It's beautiful, right? John gave it to me as a birthday present. John treats you so well. You guys must live happily for the rest of your life. Let's take a photo. 
Stop right there! Don't you know what day is today? What does today have anything to do with me? What do you guys want, Kelly? Today is the birthday of the most famous lady in the city. It's Amelia's birthday. Aren't you supposed to be happy that I invited you to your sister's birthday party? Miss Momena is here. Yo yo yo, Kelly, what happened to you? Don't you dare touch me, Amelia. Joan, are you really with her now? Kelly, Mr. Snyder is now engaged to Amelia. He has also promised her ninety-nine million nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars for the betrothal gifts. Kelly, are you feeling regretful now? Back then, your mother was even willing to pay Joan just for him to marry you, Samantha. How dare you badmouth my mother? Don't you forget that it was my mother who paid the ten million to help your family. Otherwise, she wouldn't have gone bankrupt. Then she wouldn't have headed out during the storm. Your family are murderers. You are the one who killed my mother. Your mother was dead. What use to bring her up in front of us? Joan, Kelly thought her mother was passed away in an accident. Since today is my birthday, why don't we tell her the truth to enlighten her? Okay. Your wish is my command, Kelly. Your mother didn't pass away in an accident. In fact, your mother was stabbed to death by John, my father, and me. Stabbed her to death. John, I'll kill you guys. Every person present today has the power to erase the existence of you and the children easily. Who do you think you're going to kill, John? Have you forgotten? It was my mother who helped you to get out of difficulties. She treats you better than her own son. Are you still a human? Every man is for himself, and the devil takes the hindmost. I admit that your mother treated me well. However, she shouldn't have given everything she possessed to a trash like you. Is this how she treats me? Well, is that so? She's obviously toying with me. Kelly, instead of saying that we killed your mother, you are the reason she killed herself. Beat me, or John. We were all brought to your mother's bed by you. Yes, it was me. I was the one who brought you masters to my mother. It was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Mom, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Are you crying, Kelly? I invited you here to celebrate my birthday. It's not for you to cry during such a happy day. I know you are not going to be happy unless I bring your six filthy children here to celebrate together. Isn't that right? Since I'm happy today, I fulfill your wish. Go, bring those six bastards here. Bring them to me. No, don't you dare lay a finger on them. No, don't you lay a finger on them. No, I insist. Hurry up, go. We are running. This is fun. So fun. I never expected that the popular princess back then would be in such a miserable state. This is just the start of the show. The show will only begin once your family is here. All right. Let's have some fun later, but now let's have some cake. Kelly, come and join us. Happy birthday to you! Kelly, everyone is singing for me. Why aren't you following them? Don't you want me to have a happy birthday? I want to dance. It seems like we'll have to do it the hard way. James, help me, James. Hey, who did you call for help just now? If I'm not mistaken, is it someone named James? Is it a mysterious Mr. Sullivan of the Sullivan Group? That no one has ever seen James Sullivan. Is mysterious and honorable president of the Sullivan Group, Mr. Sullivan. Kelly, how could you know someone we don't ever know? Did you deliver food to him before? Yes, 
I know James Sullivan. If you mess with my kid, he won't let you go. Let's see what he would do to me. Kelly, you haven't had such a fancy cake for a long time, right? Here, have some. Take this. John, she's bullying me. Come here, honey. Kelly, do you know that Amelia will soon inherit Pixar Pioneer? Then she'll be the second richest businesswoman in the world after the Sullivan Group. How dare you piss her off? You better watch out. Pixar Pioneer. President Sullivan, after signing this contract, Pixar Pioneer will be separated from the Moana Group and become a new company. Good. Mom, why do you want to split out to Pix Pioneer? Moreover, the semen is more than the Moana Group. My silly daughter, it's a way out for you. No one knows this. Mom, what are you saying? I don't want this. I just want you to always here with me, silly girl. Mom will get old someday. I've signed the legal documents for Pix Pioneer. No matter what happens, it'll be yours alone. It'll be the strongest vote in your life, Mom. I don't want to pick Spania. I just want to. Amelia, you're going to inherit a pick Spania. Amelia, you're going to inherit a pick Spania. Kelly, well, actually, inheritance was made for you. What a shame! You're not lucky, just like your short-lived mom. She died in car accident while delivering a takeover. As for six bastards, I will send them to the street with their arms and legs cut off. When you're dead, then all your mother's bloodline will be gone, and me, the lady of the Moonwinners, will be the rightful heir to Pixie Pioneer. Kelly, I never thought that your mother's death would benefit me. <laughs> I'm so thankful for myself that I stabbed her to death. Amelia, you're monster. How dare you talk to her like that? She's the future heir to Pixar Pioneer. John, if she messes up with my child, she'll die even if there are ten Pixar Pioneers. Kelly, what did you just say about me messing up with your kids? Do you know Wilson? He's the one who helped me cut your little brats. Do you think he's caught them? Hello, Wilson. Did you catch those little bastards? Yes, Miss Moana. I'm on my way. No, Stella, Harry, run! Wilson, Kelly said the father of those little bastards is someone that I can't mess with. Did you come across someone I can't mess with? Miss Moana, you're going to take over Pixar Pioneer. You'll be the most powerful one in the world next to Sullivan's. You can do anything. Kelly, did you hear that? I will be the most powerful one next to the Sullivan's. Today is the day you and your children die. Amelia, I can do anything. Please, I beg you, leave them alone. Dear sister, I'm not heartless. You can save your children. Kneel down and crawl under my skirt. I'll spare a child every time you cross through. Come on, draw over her like a dog. Kelly, what are you waiting for? Believe it or not, I'll knock a child out whenever one comes in. Fine, I'll crawl. Wilson is back. Wilson, where are those brats? I didn't catch any of those kids. What? Didn't you say Daddy called them in the phone? Who did this to you? It was the powerful guy. He made me oh. say it, Mr. Moana. What about we let Kelly go? Nonsense! I knew you couldn't be trusted. Just a couple of kids, but you couldn't even catch them, Miss Moana. Jean, I didn't. Let's run. Run? Where are you going? James, I know you wouldn't leave me. Who is who is talking? Stop hiding! Come out!
Davis, clear the Central Hotel. Bring Miller and Thompson to Hall 908. Kelly Movena, did you ask those low lives to do it? Try to run away? Go to hell! <laughs> Watch out! James, you are here. Where are the kids? They're not out of school yet. Don't worry, my men are watching them. They're safe. Thank you, Kelly. You're a good mother. Next, it's time for me to be a good father and do what needs to be done. What are you going to do? To protect those I must. Kelly, is this the man that you are bound? He's quite good looking, but too bad. It's just a pretty face. A pretty face? She said I'm just a pretty face. Are you angry? And Leah is just a fool. She can't see clearly. What are you doing, Kelly? I'm asking if you're angry. Answer me. Of course, I'm angry. I've endured everything she's put me through. She'd break our children's arms and legs to let them beg on street. I'll take revenge on your behalf. What are you doing? Ah! I don't hit women. You. Wait here. How dare you hit John? Do you know who he is? He and his company have a deep cooperation with the Sullivan Group. If you hit him, the Sullivan Group won't let you go. The Sullivan Group again? Such a small world. What? Men do the dirty work. What are women supposed to do? Let me give your shoulders a massage and loosen them up. What a strong muscles! Seems like this man must still have his washboard abs from seven years ago. What dirty thoughts are in your mind now? I mean, step back while holding onto my clothes. Don't get blood splattered. That's enough. Otherwise, I can't see you. The man you found is so dramatic. Clippers believe an actor recruited from the studios. Bastard! He crippled my hand. I'll send you to hell. The Century Hotel will be cleared tonight. Mr. Sullivan has some good drama unfolding. Even losing a few billion is no big deal. All irrelevant personnel, please leave the premises. The Samurai's word is known for its incredible sharpness. Clean, clear, and full with a slice knife, killing without a trace. I've got a USB drive here from James, given by Big Brother. Mr. Gordon, you're here. His bitch brought this man to cause trouble in your Century Hotel. Let's get rid of them. Mr. Gordon, what's in your hand? It looks so delicate. Is it a gift for Amelia? Mr. Golden, there's no need to. I'm honored to have you at my banquet. Oh. Who are you? How could you think that I'd give you a birthday gift? Mr. Golden, are you kidding? Joking with you? Do you deserve it? Mr. Golden, please don't be angry. I don't deserve it. Bro, who just said he sent you to hell? Uh huh. Right on time. It's perfect for me to sharpen my samurai sword. Bro, why did Miss Gordon call me bro? What's the background of this man with Kelly? Davis, your dawn sword will tie out James' hands with so many people to handle. Bro, I'll give you my M4. Just shoot the shit out of these guys. Hey, bro, who's this pretty lady? She's the mother of my children. Kelly, you do have the means. You actually found that wild man from back in the day. Amelia, the guy who had Kelly that night, was some wild dude from the construction set. But this man looked powerful. Yes. Kelly has six children. Who knows which child he's part of? Damn, this guy is so handsome and well connected. Yet he's not mine, but Kelly's. Kelly, this is the man who defied you, huh? This gentleman. Amelia, such a monster bitch you are. Shut up. Why don't you let me speak? Are you afraid that the kid's dad will find out you got yourself spoiled and even messed around with other wild guys? James, I didn't. What? This is James? How can he be Kelly's? 
He must be mine, Mr. Sullivan. You mustn't know that Kelly has given birth two men children, except for the triplets. None of the others have the same father. She has a dirty and chaotic life. She doesn't deserve to be the mother of the children. On the contrary, our Amelia, Amelia, Samantha. Cut the crap, Kelly. Anything I can say? Do you swear that all your six children have the same father? Six children? 